everybody has to make their own decisions. It's the same as anything else in life. Just because it's a band doesn't necessarily mean that it won't come to an end at some point. And sure, you know, it's it's a little bit sad when it's a band that you know well and with a certain history, maybe. But um, but it, it happens, you know. I mean, to be fair, Brutal Truth weren't perhaps didn't 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 do as much activity as Napalm does because um, some members of the band have very intensive lives at home or, or so so I believe so um, it's a slightly different situation from Napalm but you know like I say because in Napalm everyone does everything for the band all the time yeah we, I mean the Napalm's always doing stuff like every week you know so it's a little different I don't think Brutal Truth does anywhere near the same volume of activity but um, so it's slightly different but um, yeah I mean everybody has to come to a decision I guess you know and I think as a band we've still got a lot of exciting stuff in us in, in our opinion you know so um, so we'll just see how it goes you know nothing lasts forever everybody knows that but you know I, I, I feel pretty good you know for, for, for For being out there 30 years, I don't feel like it's become a, um, it's become a, a tiring for me or something like that. No. Uh, next one's scheduled for early next year. It's actually gone quicker than what we thought it would over the last few months. So it's going to be early next year. Yeah, it's... Uh, You know what? It's it's more experimental in some ways, but it's also faster in some ways. And like the sound is even more organic than the last couple of albums. So yeah, it's a. I find it it's hard to describe actually. And I know that sounds like what I've just said kind of sounds. Oh yeah, well that's probably what you would say, but that's really what it is. I don't know how, any other way to put it. You know. Uh, Napalm Death are generally considered as the creators of grindcore, uh, but in fact you have stopped uh, playing uh, pure grindcore after your uh, second uh, album was released in 1989. Well, I mean that's always a, a matter of opinion, really. But yeah, um, yeah, it you depends who you talk to, you know. You've been exploring many ways. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't not, that doesn't make it not grindcore anymore because actually the term was invented by a Napalm Death member. So you could say that napalm really kind of determines what that term means, you know. So is it? Uh, well, for us, yeah. I mean, I mean, of course, like genre labels and pigeonholes are kind of kind of tedious in many ways. But I guess in the purest sense, napalm's an extreme band, and it hasn't never been anything but extreme, you know. So that's the thing that matters, really. Well, for me, I've always been a free thinker, so that can take many forms, you know. So, trying to compare the two is perhaps a little general, but yeah, I mean, I believe in in um, in, in 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 liberty, equality, not being dictated to freedom, in much the same way as. The early Napalm stuff was written. I still is agree with those sentiments. Is it? We still have them in Napalm as a general lyrical thing. So yeah, I could say it's probably still the same. You know, uh, anarchist punk would be uh, would mean something well, to you. Well, anarchist punk or? is only one facet of free thinking. You know, there's many different facets. You know, um, so so I, I like an anarcho punk, but I don't. When I write albums, I don't. I don't. I think people sometimes get mistaken that to be an anarchist punk collective, you just go, oh, "I'll just copy what Crass said." Well, that's not the point. The point is to use your own mind. That's that's that was the concept, you know. So by directly copying things, you're not really you're not really expanding your own mind, you know. So.
It's a spread. It's it's for, for it's for many things really. But you know what you got to remember first and foremost is we are a band. You know we're not just kind of political commentators. We are a band. So you know the whole idea with making music is to try and stimulate people. You know so yeah, of course that's one reason. But yeah, I mean I've, and the other thing is to go out there and put ideas on the table and say look. This is the way we think we're, we're, we're human beings, we are humane, humanitarian, we play, and, and to show this, also show the paradox between really violent music, but really humane lyrics, you know, that paradox is actually really still quite interesting to me, you know. So, um, yeah, it's a number of things, you know, and also, of course, to have a fucking good time, to see places that 90% of, of the people I know, you know, are friends, will never see. And so you can't take that for granted. It's actually a really, it's actually an amazing thing to do. You know. How was it, uh, for example, in Kazakhstan? I heard you played there. Pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was strange, you know, because... I was kind of had reservations before we went because I know about Kazakhstan's like some of the issues with imprisonment without for no reason and I know all that stuff you know so it was it was a little I was kind of hmm, was you know what's it going to be like you know, huh? was some kind of dilemma to play there yes yeah, sure, it always is I know the things that are going on but but what do you do sometimes you you stay away and not bring something to the table the things that we were talking about and and just the situation stays the same or do you go you know it's, it's tough every every situation has its own decision to make you know thank you Barney